Okay, so the questions come up is how to use uh, set up a survey uh, online. Um, you can use SurveyMonkey, obviously. However, the person doesn't want to play that, pay for the thirty day trial or subscription. Um, are there any alternatives? Now, I've discussed Google Forms before. I find that one of the easiest ways of using stuff you can share it, you can transfer it, very easy. So, start off with I'm on Google page and I've already logged in. You have to do that. And up top, I've got my Google Drive. If I if I go to my Google Drive, I can see all my documents, and over here I've got create. So create a new form. And the first thing you're going to want to do is name it, or it's name it here, so this will be uh, student uh, feedback. Now you could do this, could be student feedback for other students, or it could be student feedback for you. And then choose uh, an, uh, something that you want to look like, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can have it look pretty, there are lots of other alternatives, but just for now, let's go with uh, this blue one, okay, and click OK. So it says student feedback. Now, each of these things I can move around, uh, and basically you just want to ask what uh, what you want to do. So question one is, uh, please enter your name. You, and help desk, this is optional. Sometimes it's good to get the name down, and I want this just to be text. Their answer here. If I put this a required question, they must do it. If you leave it optional, they don't have to do it. And because I've written this is optional, hopefully that should help. Uh, and I click done. Let's put in the first question. I want to add another question. Now, at the moment, it's going to be text. So let's have a look. Um, you might want to do a, a scale of your different work or whatever. So let's go down to uh, multiple choice. Uh, and let's say uh, what lessons, what classes um, uh, uh, do you have this teacher for? Now that is you can you can say your name you can you can but if you're doing it this teacher you, then you can actually then use this form for other teachers as well if you really want um, and. Alternatively, you can put, let's go with multiple choice, and I can put in here, <coughs> um, say this is Year Nine Science or um, Year Ten IT. Now that's fine because obviously they're only going to be in one class or the other class. However, if they're in multiple classes, I want to change this to a checkbox so then I can tick them all off as well. So now I might have in here, oops, my mistake. I might have in here. Uh, year 10 IT. So now there might be my Year 10 IT class, oops, my Year 9 Science class and my Year 9 IT class. Required question? Yes, because I want to know who this is for. This will also make it easier to sort work later on. Done. Okay, now the next thing I want to do, I'm going to add an item, but I want it to be a, a grid. So in the grid, I'm going to be putting in the questions of how the students are rating for different areas. So please rate my, please rate my, uh, please give me some, please give some responses uh, for the following areas and you can change this how you want give some feedback really feedback okay so now I've actually I want them to um, choose which you think is most uh, suitable most correct I think best matches okay <clears throat> so right now, now the rows are going to be the different the different topics. So, and you might go for um, teaching ability, uh, uh, presentation. Uh, you might also go with uh, uh, use of ICT. That's probably handy. Uh, uh, subject knowledge. Okay, so now that's fine. Across the top, I need to put anything. Uh, uh, I might put in very good, good, poor, 
very poor. And definitely make this a required question. And go done. And what you'll see is that tick boxes like this. So students can tick what they think. Now you might find this easy. I always find it easier to put it in a statement here that they can agree or disagree with. It makes things so much easier for the students. So that's the basic thing of what you would need to do. Uh, and you can fill this in as much as you want. I would tend to add in one more question. Uh, please add in. Uh, uh, do you have any other comments? Uh, and this is optional. Instead of doing a text because I won't have much room, I now change it to paragraph text, give them a little bit more answer. I don't need me to make this required question. It just puts it there. Okay. Now up the top, uh, you can adjust this editor. If you don't like the order this is, you can just drag these around if you want, drag them back. Um, you can put in he headers, different pages. Um, you've also got. I'm just going to go back into this one and edit it and change these back to multiple choice. And now see it says go to page based on answer. So it could be if they've got year nine science, they're asked year nine science questions. You put it on the next page, or it could be in ten IT, they're asked different questions. Right, for now, we want them from checkbox. I could have also done from a list, um, uh, which is the same as multiple choice, but you can just pull, do a pull down basically. All right. Now that's that is done. Up the top, I've got. Uh, view live form. So this is what the form is going to look like to the student's point of view. All right, so they can put in the name, details, tick the boxes however they want. All right, notice one, the radial buttons, one will change the other. And click submit. Now I'm just going to go back here. This bit here, choose response destination. That's good to do. So new spreadsheet and it's going to be student feedback responses. All right, and that will create a new sp spreadsheet. Okay, create. So now this is coming up with the spreadsheet that's going to be linked to this form. All right, and if I go into here now, there's the thing. So let's just give this a go to see if it's going to work. My name is Jared. I am in year nine IT and teaching ability of this teacher. Well, let's assume it's me as a teacher. I oh, fantastic presentation mere. Use of ICT, very poor. Uh, subject knowledge, where well, is some kind of idea? Uh, 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 please uh, be more than one page in front of the class. Whatever. Now, when I hit submit, as a student, it gives me options submit another response. Okay, so if I submit another response, it comes back in. So this is if you've only got one iPad or a phone or a computer. You can give the students one device and they can work through it or and they can just pass it around. Um, also, uh, you might use this instead of this for the teacher, you might actually change this to student. So you can do it for student presentations. So here, instead of doing what class do you have this teacher for, you'd say, what's the student's name? And you might list the students, so you pull them down. And here, instead of teaching ability, you might have presentation ability. Um, so then you would collect all the data. Now, I haven't done anything, but you can already see all my data has been put in here. All right, so um, I'm just going to go in. This is optional. Um, um, in here, see how it's got your classes? You can actually select for the ones that have classes. So I go up top, I go, I can sort. Uh, whoops, sorry. My mistake. Data. Ah, filter. It's not going to be our sort with uh, only one data, isn't it? Hmm. All right, my mistake. Uh, but you can sort it so that you can get just your year nine science classes. You can look at that, your year 10 IT, and look at that, and your year nine IT, and so on. Um, this, you can also um, design in formulas for calculating all this to give you an average, but basically, that's all you need to do. Um, the final thing is, though, whoops. I need to send this form. So if I go send form, I send this form to the students. This bit here, the link to share, so that's actually quite a lot of characters to know. Um, you can actually send them via email or you can embed it in your ePortfolio page if you really wanted to. Um, so anyone can go to ePortfolio and give you feedback. Um, uh, to click, you can basically click embed, work out that, copy that and paste it into your iframe or HTML in your website. Otherwise, We've gone and grabbed this, and remember us, we talked about tiny URL before? So I can go tiny URL, 
No, not there, up the top, tinyurl.com. I paste in this document. When it comes up, paste it in here. So this is a document, make tiny URL. And now anyone that clicks on this or writes down tinyurl.com, khxrv63, and you could, if you wish, choose it. So it might be uh, JJ. JJ Reflection 2013. So that way it means that anyone I can get anyone to post to that one and make tiny URL. I don't see the need of doing that at the moment. Or I can just share this with the students. I hope that makes sense. And I hope that you can get some idea of what you can do with the form from what we've just done there. Um, yeah, uh, good luck and good luck with your teacher practice.